What is good guys and girls, it's your boy this dude and today we're gonna start rebuilding some of these paludariums Not just paludariums, but enclosures in general Starting with the tree frog paludarium out there Then we're going to move to Bubba's enclosure. What's up Bubba? Bubba wanna say hi to y'all What's up Bubs? You doing dog? Then we're gonna rebuild his enclosure we're gonna get him together. But we're starting with the tree frog paludarium in the living room. This is gonna be fun. I got a lot of driftwood. We'll be doing a custom background. It's gonna be amazing. Anyways, let's get to it. Now, this is the enclosure in question, right? Doesn't look too bad. The plants are growing in just fine. Um, this is for my wife's tree frogs. You see these beautiful little babies, right? I have four of them in here. Um, they're all doing really well. But I want to get them up off the ground, give them a custom background for the wall. We're just going to give them the enclosure that they deserve. Not only them, but the fish too. We're going to be building this um, water area out. We're just going to make it nice. So give these animals what they deserve. So we're going to start breaking this down. I'm going to get them out and get everybody into the, uh, the rain chamber. I got a uh, rain chamber I built that I'm gonna be using just to hold them while we clean this enclosure up and yeah, so let's get to work. All right guys, and we got the plants up out of here. We got the frogs out of here. There's probably about three or four more fish we need to catch. And then we're gonna get this cleaned up. And I'm sorry about what this light does to the cameras, crazy. We're gonna change that though. But um, yeah. We're gonna get this cleaned up. I'm gonna do this part off camera so we can go ahead and get to the building process. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun, so let's get to it. All right, you guys, just as promised, I hate what this thing does to my camera. I'm sorry. Um, yep, we got it cleaned up. So I'm gonna get this off of the stand here and get it down on the ground so I could like better look. I'm probably gonna sit it on its back too so I can look down on it and kind of, I don't know. We're gonna get to building, Um. I don't know, setting up the branches and stuff for the false background. Uh, I'll show you guys the wood that we have. We got an amazing group of pieces to use here. It's gonna be just awesome. And down here on the ground, you see we have just a few of the pieces. I have my entire bathtub filled with more driftwood. Um, I honestly think we might be able to do it with just this. Um, I do have another piece that I kind of want to switch out because it, it it does like this cool curve thingy. But um, yep, we got a whole bunch of driftwood to use and yeah, we're about to get to work, so let's go. And for the background, we're gonna be using these two. Um, this is to lock the wood into place and then this is to kind of like fill in any like small areas that need to be fixed and also to help with the background. This is really all we're gonna be using. All right, you guys, and after moving around, we're gonna use this big piece. You see it, it comes out almost all the way to the front of the glass, and then we're gonna use this big cork bar. And in this piece here, we're gonna fasten these in to the background and kind of go from there. But um, this is a good base to start with, and yeah. Hopefully this comes out okay. We'll see. And just like we stated, we used the, um, the spray foam to fasten all of these pieces exactly where they were. Nice and solid. So um, we got this uh, bottom shelf here, and then we got this, this top piece that comes out and does all this. It's pretty cool. Um, and then we got this. Uh, I plan on putting a bunch of plants and stuff in that. I had the idea that we had a tree inside of the enclosure. So we do. We kind of, yeah. So we, we literally have a whole tree trunk. We have two holes for us to, to get creative. I got some moss, and we're gonna cover the rest of this background. I'm actually gonna clean the glass before I do that, and then uh, shave this down a little bit more, get it a little uh, more even. And yeah. Oh, also, we got a lot more wood too, so I'm gonna decide if I wanna add any more pieces here. Um, oh, coming out this side, this side here. We're just gonna really take some time and um, look at it. It's coming along just fine and everything's fastened in. It's not, it's not going anywhere. So yeah, we're gonna take our time, 
doing this next part. Like I said, I gotta clean it up and then we're gonna cover the rest of this back wall. Um, I have enough supplies to go ahead and do the sides also and then decide if we're gonna put more pieces of wood on the sides. I think that would be um, cool, but I don't know if it's necessary. So we're gonna go ahead and cover the back and see where we're, we're at from there. I'll check back in with you in a second. All right, you guys, we're looking down on it, but um, everything's fastened into place. We're gonna be filling in these gaps over here, but uh, we're about ready to start doing the background. Um, at this point, I'm gonna test the mixture we have for the background on this foam, this exposed foam, and then see if we like it, see how it comes together. And then um, if, if it's good, then we're just gonna move forward with doing the background and getting this, this portion of it done, get it back into place. I'm really looking forward to scaping the water portion. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a lot of fun, but yeah, let's, let's get this part done. Okay, guys and girls, after locking in with our mix, this is what we're looking at. It looks relatively okay, right? We don't have too many like dead spots or anything like that. Um, and I advise you take your time when you get to this part, like covering the foam, just take your time. It's not going anywhere. Make sure your animals are well accommodated and they're taken care of, that they can stay in whatever enclosure they're going in or whatever for a couple of days so that they're straight. But this is what it looks like so far, right? And then any problem areas that we find, we're gonna clean up this glass too before I do the rest of the background. Any problem areas we find, I'm gonna be using moss to cover. We're gonna be using moss to accent all of this enclosure before we even get on to the planting side and then we still got to scape the entire bottom for the water creatures and stuff so we've done a lot but we've still got a long way to go this is our background after setting in our foundation everything set just fine we're gonna let everything dry give it a nice vacuum see um whatever didn't stick and then any blemish areas we're gonna be filling in with moss so i'm glad we got this part at least done so now we can get to the fun part which is the accenting planting we still gotta escape the entire water area for now we can get this back up on the stand and the rest of the work can be done on the stand. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and get the hood hooked up. I got a three foot hood for this. So the lighting situation is gonna be a lot better. It's not gonna look like this. Um, I was just showing you guys the progress, but we're gonna get this bad boy on the stand, get it lit up and get ready to move on to the planting and scaping part. We'll probably scape the bottom first before we start planting. And just like we stated, we went ahead and addressed the word. Look, all right, so <laughs> there was only like two or three problem areas that I needed to patch with moss and I really liked the way the moss looked on the background so I just covered most of it the only area that's not covered is down here but I put moss on a lot of the wood too so um yeah and this is what we got we're gonna get ready to start planting soon but I want to scape this out first and then we'll move on to planting everything. We're gonna be using a combination of driftwood and dragonstone. Maybe some small pebbles to fill in little areas inside. I've never scaped an underwater area before. So um, yeah, I don't know how that part's gonna go, but we're gonna get the, the hardscape done right now and then get to planting this enclosure. Let's go.
is the build. I really do hope the tree frogs like it. Put a lot of time and energy into that. Uh, we're gonna let the water cycle for a couple weeks before we add the fish back into it. I'm, I wanna get all new fish too. Um, also, I wanna get some uh, amphibians for the water area. Don't wanna spoil it. We're gonna see how it goes. Anyways, I appreciate you coming out, spending time with your boy. I know you could have been anywhere else on the planet, but you decided to be here. It means a lot. Thank you. Boy Smith, it's all things living. I'm out.